24 hours, 1,500 miles, one cancelled flight, and two fucking idiots for any one of us drives <laughs> manual. <laughs> What's the time? The time is currently 9.48 p.m. in the evening. Our flight to Switzerland has been cancelled. We are filming with Bottas and Joe tomorrow in Switzerland at Alfa Romeo's factory. We just got to Luton. We spent five hours in the airport. Flight was delayed. Flight's been canceled. We're gonna drive to Switzerland and we are on a time limit. There is no way we're missing this. Are you sure you're gonna be able to drive it, man? Right, Jake doesn't drive a manual. We've got this beast. <laughs> we've got this beast like Come on, we've got to make it to Switzerland. We've got two hours to get to the Euro shuttle. Let's, Let's go. go. We literally paid 120 pounds to park in here for two days and now we've got to tell them that we're not. Excuse me, madame. Just press the X button to cancel. Take your ticket out of the machine and I'll lift up the barrier for you. We're going to get a refund? If you need a refund, you just need to contact customer services to get a refund for it. Okay, mate. Thank you. Go. Go, go, go! I don't think at this point, when we said we're gonna drive to Switzerland, we had any idea how far it actually was. The first mission is to get to Folkestone. It's an hour and fit. Is it Folkestone? Folkestone. I don't even know what it's called. Alex it's Albon. <laughs> you had to drive 111 miles to get us from Luton to Folkestone, and we were gonna get there at 23.52. But the Euro Tunnel we needed to get on left at 10 minutes past midnight. This is gonna be the most epic adventure ever. And it's my first time driving abroad. <laughs> we were on such a time limit that we needed to recruit a little bit of help booking the Euro Tunnel. There was only one man capable of this job. There was only one person we could... There was only one person that we could call upon in our time of need. A night that shines brighter than any other night. <laughs> The Lord of the Kingdom, the man himself, Mr. Aldo Bocca. Hello? Hello, so it's out of my details, so I put my email address, but I put you as Mr. Fabio Bocca. I want to make it abundantly clear now for anyone listening to these next clips. My dad was very, very drunk. And I'll give you uh, my mobile, the alternative mobile. So I'm giving your mobile, sorry, and the alternative mobile is mine. He saved us. He absolutely saved us. Not only because he booked it, also because he paid for it. No, it's payment details and I'm paying. Uh, but it, and it, it search your address. Now, I, I don't know what to do here because sometimes it wants to... This was when it, when it hit me. This is when it dawned on me, the scale of our adventure that lay ahead of us. Because he was so passionate about the fact that you won't make this. You will only just make it if you're, if you're lucky. You don't know what it's like to drive for nine hours. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous drive. They said to us that we had to be there 30 minutes before yeah. it leaves. So even though we were getting there at 23.52, we were like, we're still, we're still gonna be way too late. Especially when you're driving into the wrong fucking lanes. Hello, I'm in a car, am I in the wrong area? Shit, <laughs> go, go, go. Is he opening at the back? Yeah. Yeah, open. I don't reckon we're the only ones at the Euro Tunnel that have gone the wrong way like that. I just, we've watched the whole of Harry Potter recently over Christmas and I can't help but just like, I see this journey very similar to Harry's journey. <laughs> really? All the trials, <laughs> really? all the, yeah, all the trials and tribulations that happen on our journey yeah. is pretty much what Potter went through. I swear we're just going around in fucking circles here. We literally, what the fuck is going on? We're going in circles. Oh! I drove the speed limit the whole way. Let's go! Let's go! This was like another issue that, that came up during our adventure that presented itself and another hurdle that we had to tackle. The car was losing fuel. There is literally no gas left in the car, look at that. Like, we might, <laughs> we, we could get to Calais and then we just conk out. I completely forgot that you had no fuel because we were trying to find a garage, weren't we? And then we decided there's none this side, we're gonna miss the train, so we'll get it as soon as we get to folks. We haven't even thought of the questions for Bottas or Joe yet. I can't believe we're embarking on this adventure to film with Formula One drivers. I was saying to Fab, if this was for a wedding or anything else, I would have gone home. This blue car is significant. 
Make note of the blue car. So we make it to France. We're coming out of the Euro Tunnel. It's like a 500 mile drive to where we've got to go. Everything's looking up. You gotta go on the right hand side of the road. This is fucking chaos. And something terrible happens. <laughs> something absolutely terrible. Come on. We really shouldn't laugh, but we've literally been driving for 10 seconds. I've come straight out on the other side of the road. <laughs> and you've murdered a rabbit. <laughs> Running out. I mean, there's nothing you could have done. Or a rabbit. We're in Calais. Energy levels couldn't be higher. The morale is through the roof. We're rabbits. Like, uh, this is after the rabbit's dead. Yeah. Yeah. We have a full tank of gas. The estimated arrival time is 10 a.m. It's so bright I can't even see it. 495 miles, seven hours and 58 minutes. What was that? What was that thing? It's gonna be what a What was that thing? Engine fault. You're lying. Yep. Right, I've been saying that since I bought the car. <laughs> it's 6.25 a.m. And um, three hours and 43 minutes left. I've had a little nap. Fab's been driving hard. We're both absolutely starving. Pit stop. Jambon and Emmental sandwich. And these little salami things that you can get. Oh, classic French sandwich. Wow. As you can see from the sat nav, it says we're getting there at 11.52. We had to be there at 12, mm -hmm. which means we had eight minutes to play with. So we are nearly in Switzerland. I'm not, I'm just taking a pic. <laughs> we are nearly in Switzerland. Two hours and a half to go. And how crazy is this, right? I'm going to quickly insert the clip back of me on the Euro Tunnel. The car that was in front of us on the Euro Tunnel is currently on front of us in the road in the middle of Switzerland. Look, that is the same number plate. That is crazy. Why does stuff like this always happen to us? Uh, because we're two godlike creations. We've got 52 minutes left, 28 miles to go. We've just stopped for the toilet because we were desperate. And it looks like we're going to make it. It looks like we've done it. I can't do this. We have to save all our energy. The next time you see us, we'll be with the drivers. We've just been through one absolute hellish journey. Perilous. We finally made it to Hinville in Switzerland. We're there, we're at the location. Nothing else could go wrong. Plugged everything in and everything blew up. We have all the equipment that we travel with, the same stuff we film with every week. And the fucking box that we use, the box recording this audio right now through the mics, just blows up. We had fucking fireworks coming out like from the cables, yeah. from my laptop, from the box. And my camera charger set fire. So, I don't even know if that's charging or even gonna work. And then, I plugged the TV into the same plug and I blew oh, the TV, TV in the room. Well. <laughs> Valtteri Bottas, Grand New Joe. <laughs> Luckily, we had a Zoom recorder. So if you actually listen to the audio on the episode, it's not that good. There's no more flights that night. There's no flights today. We're gonna have to cancel it. And we're just like, what, so we haven't what slept. if we drive? We've come straight here. So Big we do cup. need the coffee. Yeah. That's coming to me. <laughs> Pit Stop Season 2 is going to be back very soon. We hope you've enjoyed this bonus video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, because 70% of you aren't. And uh, there'll be plenty more fun vids coming soon. We're a bit rusty, aren't we? Yeah. We'll, get, cool, yeah. we'll get back into this one. Cool. We'll get back into this one. Fab has been pulled over by the police. <laughs> Good luck. Whoops. <laughs>